guys, welcome back to Man Stuff TV. Um, just had a cracky night with Wild Ginger Bros. Just had to chill out a few beers and we've been out for a bit of a bimble. So, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Off a nice nettle. Yeah, no gloves. Up from underneath. Broken there. Now the fibres run up the outside of this, and if you look closely, that's not going to do that. Look closely, there's four sides. There's a dent in there, there's a dent in there, there's a dent in there, so there's four sides. So you get your fingernail in there and run it up and just break through the joints. Now, the older these are, the more wood, sort of woody they get. So it's so we flatten it out like that. Yeah, so you just run up it. Yep, thumbs down in a bit. I'll have to use a pen knife for all of that. I don't have any nails because I'm a naughty boy. So we always carry one of these. Yeah. Right, so nice and flat like that, yeah? Yep. Right, so then in here you can feel there's like a woody part. You feel that's quite hard. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we just right, bend it and then roll it up and pull that woody part away. Oh, I see. I see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, woody part. Jetson. That's all rubbish. Yeah. yeah. So we've just got the fibre. Yeah, so it's just the fibre, right? And then we a little bit more wood there. Then we do the same the other end. Yep. That's like the skeleton you're ripping out of the Yeah. 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 Jetson. Right. Right. So you end up with four Just all of that. Four strands, right? So then we break that down into two and two. Yeah. Yep. Then we top and tail it. Yeah, so we've got equal Lengths. Hang on. Yeah, so that'll be equal thickness, yeah? You get what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Then you do is just start twisting. Is that it? Twist, twist, twist. Now, ideally, you'd dry these first. Because um, as this dries, it'll all come undone again. Right. But for speed... So I'm just yeah, it'll loosen up, wouldn't it, as it dries? Yeah. No, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. It dries and it shrinks and then uh, yeah, yeah. it all starts loosening up. Right, so you keep twisting until it starts to bunch. See that bunch there? Yep. When it does that? Right. So work on the uh, right side. So I twist, 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 get it nice and tight, fold it over. Go on to the next one. Right. Twist, 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 fold it over. Okay, okay, I'll, right. I'll get that, I'll get that. Right, so we just keep hammering along. Oh, still a woody bit in there. Twist, 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 fold it over. Twist, 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 fold it over. Twist, 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 fold it over. But you want, you want to keep your twist nice and tight. Yeah. And kind of squeeze some of the juice out as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more, more moisture you get out, the yeah. better, really. Um, and if, when you put, pick the nettle, it did sting your fingers, mm. um, the actual juice from nettles actually um, counteracts stinging nettles. Ah. So it's like the ultimate revenge. If you uh, get stung by a nettle, if you mash the nettle up and squeeze its juice on the sting, it's actually... Um, oh, that's handy to know. Yeah. It's if you can't find a dock leaf... Uh, well, a lot of people reckon it's better than a dock leaf. Right. Um, and I've, I've done it in the past and it's worked. Mm -hmm. um, but there's all like little hairs on, on a stinging nail so as long as you're really rough with them as soon as you're gentle um they uh yeah i've always noticed that if you go if you run through the buggers you don't get stung yeah. but it, you know if you, you just walk through it without it. caring then you're fine but yeah. as long as you if you start going all daintily through it oh it's gonna sting me that's when you get stung yeah they, they call it grasping the nettle don't they mm. yeah so if, if you're rough with them and grab you know pull them out of the ground from underneath you are usually right yeah. it's usually the ones around it that will sting you yeah so if you sort of trample them down and select them, or just put gloves on. Yeah, gloves is usually easier. So, 
That's know, awesome. Like. That's awesome. We just keep keep going with it. We'll go all the way to the end. You can skip this bit. It takes some time, doesn't it, to to do? It. It's a bit of well, a laborious thing, process. Uh, not really. So the thing is, right? You'd collect these during the day. Yeah. When you're bimbling around, and then you'd sit around a campfire at night. Yeah, chatting, just doing it. Yeah. Chatting and doing this. Mm, and then before mm. you know it, you've got a real cordage. Before you know it, you've made a fishing net, you made a fishing line, mm. um, you've made a bow kit. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's, you can make bow drills from those. You can uh, if you dry it and then you you do this reverse twist on it. Mm. You've got to be so careful with it though because it's it's quite brittle. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can't like take the. Piece. What if you wax it or anything? Would that help? Yeah, probably. Would, would it help if you waxed it and then started doing this? Like, as you're doing this process, if you're waxing it as you go, yeah. so you're actually impregnating well, it, the whole thing yeah, with the well, wax. It's the wax that adds grip, um, but there's a way of doing a, I think it's an Egyptian wrap, you wrap it round the dr drill twice. Hmm. But instead of having a fire bow, you'd make a whip. Right. So you, you, it, the bow would come round, and then the string would come down, wrap round twice, and then you hold the other end of the string, you wrap it round your fingers, right. you slide down the bow hmm. to tighten it. Hmm. Not a, Not anything I've really practice with um but it's now it's this time of year um and the nettles are coming up it's something i really do want to try and mm. really hammer on with getting some uh, cordage made right, how long is that <laughs> right so you get to the end um you can either lay more fibers in and just carry on twisting them in make it longer and longer make yeah. it longer and longer or just tie a knot in the end yeah Oh, that looks again. pretty strong, actually. <laughs> Jesus, that's good. Yeah, try it. That is some seriously strong stuff. My God! Jesus Christ, that's good. Hmm. And then... Who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? And then what you can do... Where, where you started the wrap, you've got a hole. So... You poke that back through there. But primitive snare or bracelet. Oh. But when when you um like teaching kids and stuff, having a having a bracelet, they love it. Yeah, yeah. So you just you know, pop the knot through. Yeah. We've got a sexy little bracelet. Oh, that's cool. Which will just turn to a load of fluff in about an hour once it dries out. <laughs> yeah. But, it, it, yeah, you really need to dry the fibres. But that's fairly consistent. Because if you, if you don't top and top and tail it... Yeah. I can't believe how strong yeah. that actually is. Yeah, it's, it's bonkers strong. You could actually use that as like a... a as a... for a bow. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It's strong enough. Yeah, but it's that reverse weave that you can use, um, like, lime bark... But mm. it's that, that reverse twist, anything. Bramble you can do it with. Um, it's the twist, isn't it, that makes it so strong because it yeah. causes more friction um, to hold it together. Um, uh, bull rush, reed, reed mace, bull rush leaves. Mm. That's really good for it. They're nice and strong. Mm -hmm. um, they're quite kind of waxy. And... Mm. But yeah, there you go. That's awesome. Thanks, bros. Have a bit of string. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome, mate. Good. But don't take long. Here. Right now. Elder is regarded as the old man of the woods and all that sort of stuff. Right, so if we peel back the bark. From round the end off. You can see that one. Just neaten this up a bit. Because Elder has got a pith running through the middle. Mm hmm. Don't know how good you'll see that pith there. Yeah? Yep. Alright, so if we mark about there. Light's playing havoc with this. Yeah, it's because I'm in and out of the light. And we just start to cut a notch all the way around.
Yeah, I'm trying to keep it in the light. <laughs> mm. Might help if we took it out the light. There we go. I can see it better. They're better. Yeah, much better. It was a bit too bright. Yeah, so you just work, work your way around until you hit the pith again. Yeah. So you're just going, yeah, notching it all the way down to the pith. Yeah. You're taking the pith? Well, hey. th this is the only time you're allowed to take your pith out of your elders. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> My favourite bushcraft joke. But you can leave the bark on if you want to. You'll see what the point of this is in a second. Am I going to stab me with it? No. Hey! Oh, I think I see what this is. I see what this is. What is it? It's a bead. Exactly. Or a toggle. Yeah. And then, so you clean, clean the middle out. Yeah. From that, and you get a bit of string. It's probably a bit too big. Ah, oh, what? Well, hollow it out, yeah. Use the... Sure. No, I was going to say, if you use the... The, the, you know, that thing there. Um, oh, the the all, all, is it all? I'm getting Boy Scouts or horses' hooves. Yeah, the drill thing. It's basically a drill. Pass it through either side. Use the corkscrew. I've never used it. It's pointless. <laughs> no, no one uses corkscrews anymore, do they? <laughs> Why do they still put them on them? I don't get it. Yeah, it's weird that bottles don't come with them anymore, isn't it? <laughs> and it's been proven that screw tops actually keep the wine fresher. It's crazy. There you go. How cool is that? There you go. You've got a bead on your bracelet. Oh, I'll give it the missus because I don't wear bracelets, I can't wear them. <laughs> I don't like the irritation. Yeah. Any kind of jewellery, I can't stand it. There you go, look, proper bushcraft. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I'll give it to the wife. Look at that, how awesome is that? Don't leave your knives on the floor without a sheath on. Yeah, that's not clever. And look at the bracelet, it does look like a DNA helix now. <laughs> it's cool.